then comes data categorization so categorization basically the name itself says it's something as demarcating or dividing so similarly categorization is a process of dividing the world into groups of entities whose numbers members are in some way similar to each other so data could then be categorized as high sensitive data medium sensitive data and low sensitive data the difference is that these groups referred in the data categorization don't need to be mutually exclusive but in data classifications they have to so what are the categories so data categories are groupings of data with common characteristics or features data classification is the process of organizing into categories for its most effective and efficient use a well planned data classification system makes it essential data is easy to find and retrieve this can be particular importance for risk management legal discovery and compliance data categories are grouping of data with common characteristics or features data classification is the process of organizing data into categories for its most effective and efficient use a well planned data classification system makes essential data easy to find and retrieve and this can be for particular importance for risk management legal discovery and compliance so that, there are different types of classification of data first is public information data in this category is typically maintained by state institution and subject to disclosure of public data as part of certain laws confidential information this data may have legal restriction about the way it is handled or there may be a, other consequences around the way confidential data is handled the next is sensitive information so the name itself says it's the information which is sensitive so the data in, in any information stored or handled by state or other institution that has authorization requirements and other rules around it is used sensitively personal information generally personal information or pii is protected by law and must be handled following certain protocols sometimes there are gaps between the moral requirements and contemporary legislative protections for their use 